Hello, boys and girls. Welcome, and guess what time it is? It's Eureka time. Today is October 15, 2020. We are doing lesson 38, and our objective of the day is I can use the addition chart to solve, to make connections to help solve subtraction problems. So we're going to be re using the addition chart addition chart which we've reviewed before to help us make connections in order to solve subtraction problems. Well, how are we going to do that? We have our key points and let me get my pointer. What? What do we need to know? Well, we need to know what addition is and addition is another word for plus and this is the symbol for addition. We also need to know what subtraction is, and subtraction is another word for minus, and this is a symbol for subtraction. We also need to know what a number sentence is, which we've gone over throughout this module, and these are examples of a number sentences. We also need to know what a related fact is, and we've been going over related subtraction facts, but just know that related facts is like a number bond you use the same parts and the same total and that's how you make related facts and this right here up here are examples of related facts because you're using the same parts and the same total how are we going to master today's objective well first we're going to identify the total which means we got to make sure we know what our total is Step two, we're going to identify the two parts. Step three, we're going to find the two parts on the addition chart. And step four, we're going to write the related subtraction sentence and number bond. Let's go ahead and start. Before we start, make sure that you have your whiteboard ready. If you do not have your whiteboard, make sure you have paper and pencil to practice solving problems. Go ahead and press pause and press play when you're ready. Let's start. So let's think back. How did this addition chart help us with our addition facts? How did it help us? Well, remember, we were able to, they were related facts. They were also, there's also a sequence, which means there's also an order in the chart, so it's easy to find. The rows start with the same part. If you can tell, they start with the same part right here. All the zeros, all the ones. The totals made a staircase when whenever we colored in the totals of 10, remember that they made a staircase. If you still have those addition charts, you can look back and refer to them. Right? So it helped us in many ways. Look at my subtraction card. We're going to write a number bond and leave the missing part empty for now. So go ahead and write this expression, only this, in your whiteboard. Go ahead and also write the number bond. And, but we're going to leave the missing part empty for now. So when you have the expression and the number bond, go ahead and press play so that we can work this problem out together. We, let me go ahead and get my pen. So let's go ahead and do our first step. What is our whole number or our total in this expression? Get ready. Yes, seven. So let's write seven as our whole number. What is the known part or the part given? Get ready. Yes, four. So let's go ahead and write four. Remember, we're not writing our solution yet, which is our answer. It says to, we're leaving the missing part empty for now. So let's think about this. Your marker should be parked or your pencils. Let's think about it. Which of the addition problems on my chart 
have a part that is four. Look and see if you can find addition problems that have a part that is four. The, remember that the chart tells us the parts, not the totals. And yes, if you see all this row right here has parts that are four and also this row right here. So this row right here have parts that is four and this row going like this have parts that are four. So do we know the unknown part? Go ahead and pause the video, take a few minutes to solve and press play when you're ready. Now you should have already solved the unknown part. What is our unknown part? Get ready. Yes, three. So what parts are we going to look for? Get ready. Yes, four and three. Did you find them? I'm going to color in four plus three and three plus four on our chart with yellow. And we already filled our number bond. So here I have four plus three, if you can see it. And I also have three plus four. And I will also color our totals yellow. And our total and our whole number is seven. Here's the next step. On your whiteboard, go ahead and write the, num the subtraction number sentence from the card we started with. So you're writing this, but you're also writing the answer to it, and then you're we're also going to write the number addition sentence that helped us solve. So now let me get my pen back and let's write this subtraction number sentence, but with an answer. So on your whiteboard or on your paper, let's go ahead and write seven minus four. What is seven minus four equal boys and girls? Get ready, three. Now let's write an addition sentence that helped us solve. Well, we have two, but we, could, we can go ahead and use whichever one. So I'm gonna use the four plus three. So on our whiteboards or on your paper, go ahead and write where you have space, four plus three equals seven. See how they're related? Because they're using the same parts and the same whole number. Awesome. If you have a whiteboard, go ahead and erase your whiteboard at this moment. If you have a paper, go ahead and find the next blank space. Let's practice another one. Here we go. Go ahead and write eight minus four and also make a blank number bond. Press play when you're ready. So boys and girls, we're gonna write a number bond and leave the missing part empty for now. So let's identify our whole number. What is our whole number? Get ready. Yes, eight. So let's write eight as our whole number. What is our known part or the part given? Get ready. Yes, four. So let's go ahead and write four as a part in our number bond. Now we gotta think, which addition problems on our chart have a part that is four? Yes, if you, it's the same row, all this row going down and all this row going sideways have parts that are four. But now we need to find, but which of those problems have the same total as eight minus four? Hmm. Well, remember that our chart tells us parts, but not totals. So we got to figure out our unknown part. Go ahead and solve for the unknown part and write it in your number bond. Press play when you're ready. What 
chords are we looking for? Get ready. Yes, if you answered four and four, you are correct. So now I'm gonna color in four plus four with yellow on our chart. And it's right here. Since the parts are the same, we only have one. I'm also going to color in our total yellow, which is eight. Next step, you're gonna write the subtraction number sentence from the card we started with. So you're gonna go ahead and write this subtraction sentence, but with an answer. And you're also going to write an addition sentence that helped us solve, which is the one in yellow. Go ahead and press pause and press play when you're ready to check your work. At this moment, you should have written eight minus four equals four. And what addition sentence helped us solve this? Well, the one we colored in yellow. Four plus four equals eight. We just made another connection, boys and girls. Last problem to practice, you ready? Go ahead and erase your whiteboards. If you have a blank piece of paper, go ahead and find the next blank space. Go ahead and write the expression nine minus four on your whiteboards and make a blank number bond. Press play when you're ready. Ready? So what is our whole number? Get ready. Yes, nine. Go ahead and write nine as your whole number. What is our known part or the part given? Get ready. Yes, four. So let's go ahead and write four as our part. Which of the addition problems on our chart have a part that is four? Hmm. We should know this by now. Go ahead and point. It's all this row again and all this row. Which of these problems have the same total as nine minus four? But remember, our addition chart only shows us parts and not totals. So at this moment, pause the video and find the, net, the unknown part. Press play when you found it. So what is our unknown part? Get ready. Yes, five. What parts are we looking for? Get ready. Yes, four and five. So I'm, I'm gonna color in five plus four and five plus four. There was one right here. And four plus five on the addition chart. I will also color in our whole number on our number bond, which is nine. Now, you're gonna write the subtraction number sentence from the card we started with. So you're gonna go ahead and write this subtraction sentence with an answer and then you will also write the addition sentence that helped us solve. Remember, you can choose one of the addition sentences we highlighted in yellow. Go ahead and press pause and press play when you're ready. Awesome, boys and girls. So let's check your work. Let's see. We were supposed to write the subtraction number sentence from the card we started with. You should have written nine minus four equals five. Then you were supposed to write an addition sentence that helped us solve it. Well, you could have written any of these two. 
if you wrote 5 plus 4 equals 9, you are right. If you also wrote 4 plus 5 equals 9, you are also right. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Awesome. And now if you have some time, which I'm pretty sure you do, go ahead and open up to Lesson 38 Problem Set. Go ahead and write your name, date, and goal. Let me move this so you can see the goal. Write name, date, and goal. And remember to be ready for the live session. See you then.